Hey folks, Yarek here and welcome to Emberscape. Earlier this month I did pick a lot of suspicious raw bulk ember and made a bunch of windows in it to find some insect fossils hiding inside. And we did find quite a few insect inclusions, but the most interesting one is this piece. Because I can't for sure say what kind of insect it is just looking at it in this state. So this piece I'm gonna fully cut it, polish it, make some macro pictures and we'll try to identify this insect. So let's get to work. And so this side I won't cut anymore, maybe just the sides. Because in this dry state we see this, there is a crack from the front of this insect. So we can't cut it because we will damage the insect. Instead what we're gonna do, we will just pre-polish and polish this side. And this other side we will remove fully so we can see the insect from this side. That's the goal. And yeah, let's start from cutting this uh, crust from this side. And before flattening the piece completely, I want to make sure that from this other side there is no any other inclusions hiding. So let's check if there is anything else in this piece and if not we will make this side flat and uh, cut it. it. It looks like there is nothing but I want to make sure so we will make an, yet another window from this side and then we will keep going. We haven't even cut it, this other piece, only removed the uh, crust. This piece already a lot brighter than it was before. The insect is already better visible. So that, that is the bonus from cutting from both sides when you have an inclusion. The piece gets more light and we see inside better. Okay, and do we see anything suspicious? I don't think so, so that means we can just uh, flatten this piece from this other side and remove all the uh, amber and all the dirt that's getting in the way of seeing the main inclusion. Unfortunately, a change of plans, uh, not entirely, because the piece from this side is already flat and I won't go any more, because uh, either way uh, the main insect from the front won't be visible from two sides, because if you look closely there is a layer of amber with cracks behind the insect and he also in the insect basically insect is a part of that layer so if we remove it we remove also the insect from other side to see it and we don't want that so i have to stop uh, removing surface from other side right here and we will go to shaping it and pre-polishing and let's hope for the best that after we polish the piece uh, the insect will be very well visible from the front And there it is, the scratches are removed and this is our final shape. Now I will be pre-polishing it manually with sandpaper. And the last dangerous part is this crack from the front of the insect which you saw before, that it has little holes. 
so they might get bigger when I will be pre-polishing it up to 2500 grit. And there's nothing I'm, I can do about it, only to pre-polish it less if something bad is about to happen. So let's just pray <laughs> nothing goes wrong while pre-polishing the piece. Yeah, there we go. In case of clarity, it's a thousand fold better than it was before. And it's, yeah, it's a very cool piece, to be honest. I, I do like it a lot. We got a nice shape, it will be a cool collectible. But what about the insect? I still don't know who this is. And that only means that we have to go and make some macro photos. I would do them either way, but I still can't tell what it is before proper magnification yeah unfortunate uh, this crack across the insect is a bit unfortunate but yeah but yeah we didn't damage the insect itself while cutting the piece it's well polished very cool piece so let's go and make those photos Now is the most important part, the identification process. And for that to happen, I need to make a proper pictures with lots of details, at least as much as possible. And I have already prepared everything. I have the microscope here. The specimen is right over here. The lights, the everything, and already zoomed in on the specimen. The, the sad part, Around the specimen there is a lot of layers of amber which goes in the way of seeing who this insect is clearly. And the most important part is the insect is not damaged. I have stopped cutting the piece just at the right time. And yeah, I see the stinger, I see the big eyes. So the stinger suggests that it could be some sort of wasp, but overall body shape and legs are kind of funky, so I can't still say who this insect is. And I will need a help from a professionals, and for that I will ask some uh, of my friends, for example, Arthur. So let's hope he will tell me something good. Communication with people who might know the answer is completed. As the stinger suggested, it is indeed a Hymenoptera, the wasp. And talking with Arthur and Keegan, as for the approximate family or species of the specimen, turned out to be tougher than expected. It is an interesting looking wasp. Judging by the forelegs, head and abdomen, it gave a Drinidae vibes. And, and it is the best not conclusive answer I have, that it could be a Drinidae wasp, and these are modern still living members of this family, personally giving me a strong ants vibes. Cool stuff. And there we go. This is it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Amber content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.